Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and it has been so long since I recorded a video I decided I wanted to do something kind of just quick and easy as a reintroduction to the channel and to myself and to my collection so as the title thumbnail and now I am saying this is a Jersey collection update it has changed quite a bit since the last time uh, we've seen each other uh, I've sold a couple, uh, a few more are for sale, and I've received a lot more. So let's just get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start obviously for, with my Ottawa from left to right, and then I'll start doing everything up top as well. Uh, just quick to point out, over in the far corner there hanging up is a replica, pro player replica, of what the uh, 1920s uh, era Ottawa Senators wore. Uh, this is like when they were winning Stanley Cup after Stanley Cup back in the day. And then up behind me is my first ever jersey, which is my uh, Fanatics Bobby Ryan Centennial Classic jersey, uh, which uh, more on in just a little bit. So we're just going to get right into it with, uh, I think, what is maybe my favorite uh, jersey in my collection at the moment. And that is the beauty Claude Drew on an, in an Ottawa Senators jersey. Uh, really furry because I wear it quite a bit. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I love Drew as a player. I always have. And to finally have a, a jersey of his uh, in my favorite team is just incredible. Uh, so I'm just going to put the jerseys off to the side so the, the rack will be empty by the end of this video. Um, last time I tried to record one of these, all those fell off. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, next up again is another Ottawa Senators home jersey. Uh, the Drew jersey is prime green because it's relatively newer. This is uh, arrow ready. It's from the first generation of this jersey. So it has those nice soft patches. Uh, Drake Batherson on the back. Uh, great player. He's on a massive run of, for points right now. Uh, one of the better Senators. Um... I can absolutely love this look for the Senators. When it first came out, I was a little iffy on it, um, but I absolutely love it now. Uh, it's just, it's not the generation I grew up on. So, but next up is the current generation reverse retro. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but the font and the, the sleeves and the, and the numbers, like it's really good. I would have preferred if they used the shoulder patch as the main logo, um, like they did back in the day. Maybe add some white to it somewhere along the way. I absolutely love this. I've been waiting for a Shabbat jersey, and just with this beautiful number font, this seemed like the move. Uh, next up, we have, again, one of my uh, favorite ones there. One of the nicest white jerseys in the league, the Ottawa Senators again, with obviously Tim Stutzla on the back. Again, another incredible player. Absolutely love this one. Got him as soon as I could, basically. Uh, I love this one very much. Uh, moving on. It's the first generation reverse retro with the captain, uh, Brady Kachuk. Um, something weird about this one is it came directly from NHLShop.com and it doesn't feature the uh, the captaincy on it. Uh, I'm not sure why the at or like the actual link when I went to buy it did, so it's kind of weird. Uh, I do wish the main logo had the glittery gold that this one does on the shoulder patches and everything else. But I actually really like the black number on the red. It, it stands out quite a bit, I think. Uh, beautiful jersey. Now, like I said, uh, the Centennial Classic Bobby Ryan Fanatics was my first jersey, um, but it was Fanatics, and I did eventually want to upgrade uh, to the Centennial Classic Authentic. So here it is with Bobby Ryan still. I, I wanted that exact jersey. Uh, this During this time, Bobby Ryan was my favorite player, so it felt like a no-brainer. When I finally upgraded to get him, it was between him and Carlson, um, but number nine stuck out to me again and with all the stanley cups from the original era senators on the uh, sleeves it's just a beautiful addition to any collection uh next up is what i originally thought i would have wanted for the rebrand um and that is the heritage jerseys to become the full-time home and away this is the heritage classic from 2014 uh with the captain at the time jason spezza with the felt numbers picking up all sorts of dog hair and uh it's, but either way it's such a nice jersey i absolutely absolutely love that one uh next up of course is the black version of that uh this has milan mccullock on the back uh you know uh i might get this one swapped out eventually for like a daniel alfredson or a chris neal or something just to uh maybe keep it i didn't i, I don't dislike mccullock but he was never one of my favorite players so always just trying to keep it in the, in what i prefer next up is maybe my favorite era of jerseys and what i hope they bring back as an alternate eventually is the uh, golden wreath jersey uh, i absolutely love this one i hope to see a modern version of it again with that awesome number font spezza on the back uh, just a beautiful jersey overall absolutely love that guy 
Next up is uh, the Jersey the Reverse. The Reverse Retro is based off of, and that's the original 2000 to 2007 uh, home jersey with, uh, with Danny Heatley on the back. Uh, Danny Heatley is the reason I wore 15 in high school and the sports I played and uh, anytime I make a character in a video game. Uh, his, o his run in 06 and 07, uh, absolutely crazy back-to-back 50-point -back seasons, insane player. Uh, next up is a jersey, uh, I'm actually fairly certain it's fake. Um, I bought it, I was given it from my friend, um, and I'm sure he didn't know, but it's a old school CCM Team Classics, Daniel Albertson. Uh, the sleeves are just really long, the shoulders are the wrong cut, and the stripes are really thin, but I absolutely love it. I'd love to get uh, an upgraded, uh, proper, authentic version of that uh, one day down the line. And next up is the Sens jersey. I know a lot of people don't like this one, but I absolutely love it. Um, I think honestly, if you swap to this, like the 3D logo onto the front, this jersey actually becomes a lot nicer. Um, anytime I remake this jersey in the NHL games, that's all I do is I slap on the old logo and bada bing, bada boom, love it, absolutely. Um, and one thing if you haven't noticed so far is I basically have one jersey from every era of the Senators. Uh, and that does that includes the previous generation Adidas, uh, obviously with the 3D logo in the glittery gold, which is, I don't understand why they didn't keep when they upgraded to the new look. Um, this one has Craig Anderson on the back, uh, phenomenal player, uh, best Sens goalie in history uh, by wins at least. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, the funny thing about this one actually is it's the first Adidas jersey I bought, and uh, like a week later they changed the logo, changed the jersey design, and Craig Anderson didn't re-sign. So it, was, so it became my first Adidas and my first uh, retro jersey, if you will. Uh, next up is the blank white version of that. Actually, this is first generation Adidas. You can tell because of the, uh, the little button at the bottom. I, I love this thing. Uh, I was eventually gonna get Anthony Duclair put on the back, but again, different, uh, different logo, and he decided, and he got sent to Florida. So. Uh, at first when I had jerseys, it was, I had really bad jersey luck. I'd get a jersey and the player wouldn't resign. And it was like a whole thing uh, I, that's since gone away. Drew and Stutzla are on huge point streaks and they're pretty much the most recent actual players that I've added. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, next up is actually the Reebok version of the one you just saw with Mark Stone on the back. I absolutely love this number kit. Um, it's kind of weird that the Ottawa went to a just kind of standard athletic uh, font rather than something they used to use like this or the uh, what they've used on the reverse retro. Um, I wish they would do more unique fonts in the NHL. Uh, this one is absolutely one of my favorites and Mark Stone, uh, one of my favorite players. Uh, next up are a few specialty jerseys from the Senators. Uh, so first up is the current look for the Military Appreciation Night. Uh, my uncle and my brother are both in the military, um, so I always get the military uh, appreciation stuff. Always blank, I never get a player on them. Um, I can actually personalize it and put my brother or my uncle on the bottom of it. Uh, for now it's just blank, but I absolutely love all military appreciation jerseys. Uh, this is the Reebok version with the full CAD pat pattern, uh, the black and white logo, again blank. Uh, and then one more Adidas version, which is the previous generation Adidas uh, one. Uh, so again, the cat pat sleeves and the, the olive drab and the colored logo, uh, blank again. I absolutely love the military appreciation ones. They stand for quite a bit. Uh, and another one is Hockey Fights Cancer. Um, obviously, a any form of cancer is uh, terrible. Uh, so I love when corporations like this, or like the National Hockey League, uh, takes a stand against it and donates the money raised by both the jersey sales and ticket sales from those games. Um, I love the lavender and the lilac purples. Uh, it's, it's just an incredible little design. I know every team uses the same design, but great striping pattern, great color palette for the, for the team. I absolutely love it. Uh, next up is, I believe, a true authentic 1992 jersey you could have bought. Uh, it may be fake as well, I'm not sure, it might just be the cheap version, but obviously it has the Ottawa Senators written in there rather than the Leaf, and it also has the Reef in the uh, the Centurion's helmet. Uh, blank, um, not much to say about it, it's really old, uh, and it was relatively cheap, so it could be fake. Um, I don't believe it is, but like I said, there's, there are tags that are in it are worn off and very weird. Uh, and next up is the uh, 
the mid 90s era where they wore the white in the middle of the stripe uh, Alexi Yashin on the back uh, I don't know much about the man um, as a player uh, this is the only jersey I could find physically with this white striping in it so I got it uh, Yashin's a little before my time watching so uh, just a nice addition to have every era of Ottawa in my collection uh, next up, speaking of Ottawa, but this time the 67s, the OHL. Uh, this is the actual newest jersey physically in my collection. I have four on the way, and I'll talk about them at the end. But uh, absolute beautiful uh, jersey. I love the 67s logo, and I absolutely love um, this striping. Uh, I think it's the perfect way to do like a modern barber pole. Um, in fact, actually. I believe I've talked about it before, but when I did a Seattle Kraken reverse retro design, I actually borrowed inspiration from this jersey here um, for the sleeves rather than doing a full Metropolitan's uh, re uh, reverse retro. I did uh, one of these guys and it just absolutely looks great to me. Um, but yeah, like I said, newest physical jersey in my collection, followed by actually the next two newest ones. Uh, yet another reverse retro. Uh, this one is pretty great. Uh, the Calgary Flames podium jersey with the beautiful prime green additions to the designs. Absolutely love it. Uh, the, the only thing I don't like is the seam here, really, but I can get over that. I'm not like some other people. And uh, you might be seeing the number, uh, the number one over here and the number two over here and a captain's logo, and you're like, hey, the Calgary Flames don't have a captain, and it's certainly not number 12. What I did to this one may be considered a jersey faux pas since he doesn't, he's never worn this version, but I did slap the old. The good old captain Jerome McGinley on the back. Uh, I don't watch the Calgary Flames, and when I did, Iggy's the only player I can think I could have thought of. He wore the original version of this jersey, so I thought it was a I thought it was a, a neat little thing I could do. Uh, I I really prefer it. I don't think I could have put anyone else on the back of it. If he was still there, I would have put Matthew Kachuk, but uh, you know he's not there anymore. So I threw on old, reliable, beautiful player, beautiful jersey absolutely love it and speaking of calgary um this one needs a little bit of backstory my family is a huge wrestling family we love wrestling uh in fact i'm actually going to elimination chamber uh smackdown and raw in uh in february uh so i'm super excited about that but what's really funny about it is bret hart owns the calgary hitmen so uh, <laughs> when they released the specialty jersey for sale and it and it had a massive sale on it I just had to get it, the hot pink jersey with the flames on it. Uh, it's so obnoxious. And in fact, they have their actual logo on the shoulder here, uh, but I much prefer this version of it. I think this should be their main logo. Uh, it's just a nice little jersey. Um, and in the back of the collar, it says the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, which is of course, Bret Hart's uh, saying. So absolutely love that thing. It was such a, just a little joke purchase when I bought the, uh, um, Cal the reverse retro from the Flames. Uh, it was uh, I bought it direct those both directly from the Calgary team store. So super happy about those little silly additions. Uh, next up is one of my favorite jerseys in the league, and that is the Golden Knights gold jersey. I think the only thing that could make this jersey better is if the gray was black. Uh, I just think it would pop a lot more with the gold, um, and maybe if they made this the gray instead. I don't know. Uh, I obviously have Robin Leonard on the back. I love Robin Leonard when he was a senator. He was great. I followed him all around the league uh, and eventually settled in uh, in um, Vegas. Uh, I love him as a player, uh, as a person. He's also really, a uh, really great guy from all accounts. Uh, and what he's doing for mental health of athletes, um, bringing awareness to it all the time is great uh, for him. Uh, so I consider him my little golden boy, I guess. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, but I absolutely love him on the back of this one. Uh, next up is the captain of that same team, the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Stone. Now, I was always going to get Stone on a Golden Knights jersey, but I was waiting to see if they would have named him captain or alternate. Uh, when they finally named him captain, of course, I threw it on the at the time home jersey. Now it's the alternate. Uh, absolutely love it. Very great uh, jersey. Incredible. Uh, it's kind of hard to hit it uh, perfectly. Uh, the first try and Vegas did it excellently. They did, they did it perfectly. Uh, next up again for Vegas is the white inaugural season Vegas Golden Knights with Marc Andre Fleury. Um, I absolutely uh, again Marc Andre Fleury is one of my favorite players of all time. 
Loved him as a penguin, loved him as a knight, love him as a um, Minnesota Wild. Uh, it's crazy to me the longevity of his career and how good he is still. Um, when I think of the Vegas Golden Knights in white, I think of Marc-Andre Fleury during the uh, inaugural season run to the playoffs. Uh, so I absolutely love this one. There's a hair there. Um, moving on is the final of the Vegas Golden Knights, and that is Generation 1 Reverse Retro. Um, this red is so striking with the uh, the alternate logo on the side is awesome. Um, many uh, main logos to me don't make a shoulder patch. Uh, this one actually looks really good, the Vegas Golden Knights uh, main logo as a shoulder patch. And I got Alex Petrolangelo on the back. Um, I always butcher his name, so however, however bad I said it, you can let me know. But absolutely love this one. Obviously, they based it off the Las Vegas Thunder from 1995. It's just a great jersey overall. Uh, love the player, love the team. All right, and next up is the Seattle Kraken. Uh, obviously, inaugural season patch on both of these. I haven't bought the reverse retro just yet. Um, if I get a massive sale, I will. I'm not a huge fan of it, uh, but they are one of the newer teams, and as you see with Vegas, um, I'm just missing the reverse retro 2.0. Hopefully, I can find it somewhere for a, a relatively good price, because for Vegas and Seattle, I'd like to have every jersey. This is former Senator Joey Decord. Uh, I was planning on buying a, Deco a Decor jersey anyway. Uh, I loved him as a senator. He was maybe my favorite of the younger jet goalies um, that they were playing around with. Um, I wish they would have kept him uh, rather than release him. Uh, but again, I love the inaugural season patch on there. The Kraken logo is one of my favorite in the league right now. And just overall, the colors work together very well. Uh, next up after that is the white. Uh, I threw Jordan Everly on it. Uh, I think at the time maybe I sh I was I could have done uh, Geo. I like Geo as well, one of those older players. Um, these were my actually the Kraken were my first two prime green jerseys because they came out right at the same time. Uh, Jordan Everly is not a bad pick, but there's so there's more players I would pick now. Um, maybe throw Grubauer on it. Um, I really like goaltenders, just so I don't know. Everly is great. I don't I don't dislike him. It has the A on it. Uh, and again, inaugural season patch, but I don't know, thinking, thinking back on it now, I may have gotten a different player, um, but I, I, not, not to say I don't like Everly, it's just hindsight, you know. Uh, next up is actually uh, my hometown, uh, the St. John Sea Dogs. I'm, I'm from St. John, uh, New Brunswick, originally, um, but so this is actually the generation of jersey they wore after I left. Uh, when we lived there, they actually still had the word St. John, or Sea Dogs on the white and St. John on the blue. Um, this is the generation after uh, when CCM picked up their new design style. I love it. Uh, the white one is just super clean and classic. Uh, the blue one uh, is just gorgeous. I love the shade of blue the Sea Dogs use. Uh, it's just a, it's overall a great design. I, I love this, the CCM look. Um, moving on. Uh, some relevant ones, considering we just won gold, but Team Canada. Uh, and no, I said I was going to talk about them at the end, but I think I'll talk about it now. Um, I do have four Team Canada jerseys on the way. Um, I have the three Olympic jerseys, all blank, like uh, this one and the red one there. Um, and I also have uh, the World Juniors white jersey, the one they were wearing uh, all tournament, and the one they won the gold medal in. I have Bedard on the back of that one. Normally, like I said, like uh, with national jerseys, I don't put a player on the back just because it's not um, it's not about them, it's about the country. But with the tear that Bedard was going on this tournament, I think I had to. Um, so I got a good deal on it. I had a discount code and a gift card. Uh, so it was a no-brainer for me to throw Bedard on the back of the current white World Juniors look. Uh, and there we are. Next up again, one of my favorite players of all time. And it hurts me to say that because of the crest on the front. Um, but Carey Price uh, is a phenomenal goaltender, one of my favorite players, uh, ought not to ever wear a Senator's jersey. Uh, it's crazy to me how good he is, or how good he was. He hasn't played in a, a couple seasons, he's hurt, and he's got some other stuff going on in his life. But I absolutely love Carey Price. And another thing I hate admitting is this is, to me, the perfect hockey jersey. The Montreal Canadiens got it right way back in 1917 or whenever they started wearing this and it's just stayed perfect since uh 
Really, I don't like the, the logo. It's classic. It's one of the most iconic uh, hockey logos. But just overall, the jersey is so recognizable. Um, and I hate admitting that I like it so much. But like I said, one of my favorite players and probably the nicest hockey jersey ever. Uh, again, I hate saying it. <laughs> um, next up, we are looking at the Edmonton Oilers uh, away jersey. Technically previous generation. I think there are some small changes they made to the um, when they upgraded. But this is Ethan Bear with the Cree Silovic. Um, an incredible look. Uh, I wish I want to get any team he goes on. I think if I can find them cheap enough, if they offer the Cree Silovic, I think I'll I think I'll do that. That's just a really cool addition uh, to the jersey. Really unique, and it just makes this one look really cool. Uh, I love the colors that the way they pop off that white. Uh, again, another Edmonton Oilers. I'm gonna scooch over a little bit. Uh, another Edmonton Oilers, the navy blue alternate, uh, McDavid on the back. Nothing much to say about this. This is one of the ones on sale. Uh, so if you are interested, uh, maybe just shoot me a, shoot me a comment or uh, I'll see if I can set up an email or something for it. So I don't know. Uh, that's one of the ones I'm considering to put up for sale. Um, next up is one of the nicest Tampa Bay jerseys ever. Uh, I much prefer it over what they actually consider the Storm jersey, but the black with the gradient. Uh, blank because I don't like the numbers font. That's about it. Uh, next up is another one for sale. Uh, possibly, I think the white one will be the main one for sale. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, if you notice anything about my uh, my logo, you notice it's this blue I've used. Um, it's a nice blue. I hate the team. Hate. Uh, pretty much hate everyone on the team. <laughs> I, uh, just because they they're my main rivals. But Freddie Anderson on the back. Um, one of the nicest colors in the league, though. The blue and the white, just really nice together. Uh, speaking of blue and white, Mitch Marner. Uh, I think this is the one I'm going to sell. I think I'll keep the blue one. Um, overall, it's it's a nice jersey, uh, but I don't need two Toronto jerseys. I don't cheer for Toronto, um, and I really only like the blue one. Uh, I bought both because they were off the Adidas store for like 50 bucks. Um, so, not much to say about that one. I'm sure this one's been staring you in the face pretty much the entire video. Uh, the bright, obnoxious yellow of the Bruins Reverse Retro Gen 1 with David Pasternak on the back. The mate, I think pretty much anyone can understand the reason I got Pasternak on the back of this is that Barbie Girl interview he did. If you've never seen it, um, here's a quick clip of it. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this jersey <laughs> with how obnoxious it is and how great that interview was. It was a no-brainer with Pasty on the back. Uh, next up is Jonathan Taze in one of the most controversial logos in the league, I guess. Um, I don't know. I absolutely love the quality of the material and the, the chain stitching. Uh, I'm not nearly educated enough uh, on any subject regarding it uh, to talk about the history of the logo or anything. I just like the cross stitching on both. Um, Jonathan Taze, one of the nicest away jerseys in the league, though. I will give them that. Uh, next up is a very, again, obnoxious yellow jersey, Nashville's Gen 1 Reverse Retro. Uh, I absolutely love the silver on the sleeves. If you've never seen this one, it's a stretchy material, um, and I absolutely love it. I wish more teams would use it. Um, I love This is my favorite Predators logo. It's much better than their current look. Uh, Matt Duchesne on the back, just because I really liked how the 95 looked. That's really the only reason I got him. Uh, former Senator as well, I guess, didn't hurt. Um, again, another Nashville jersey. I'm going to scoot over a little bit more. There's stuff down here. Um, another Nashville jersey, current away jersey. Uh, he's no longer on the team. He's playing in uh, Sweden right now, I think. But uh, Ka Kazimir Kaskasuo, uh, if you don't know who that is, he's a YouTuber uh, and a goalie currently for a Swiss team, I think Lexand. Uh, I'm not Swedish, so I'm sorry if I butchered that. But uh, I thought, I've watched him on YouTube when he was a Maple Leaf, and then he became a... Uh, a predator, uh, and now he's like I said in in uh, Sweden. But uh, it was a nice little addition. I got a pretty good discount for uh, from Cool Hockey. I think I got a gift card for it as well. Uh, if you don't know, uh, the number seventy three represent the number of letters in his wife's name and his daughter's name. So Whitney is seven, and Fox is three. Just like overall, a great guy, and uh, just good. I I felt like that was a nice addition to my. Sorry, my jerseys are sliding. Um, I felt like it was a nice addition to the collection. Uh, so we're winding down here. 
former captain of the Arizona Coyotes on the Kachina, Ulrichman Larson. Uh, he was on the team when I got this. Uh, I, again, nothing much to say about it. It's one of the nicest jer home jerseys in the league. The white one, I'm surprised I don't like as much. Um, but it's, uh, I'm just the jerseys fell. I stopped them from like smacking, but it's sad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, OEL on the back of that one. Uh, Buffalo in a gold and navy blue 50th anniversary. I absolutely love this. I was going to get Eichel on it, and then he no and he's no longer a Sabre, so I didn't. Um, either way, love the look of this one. Uh, probably their nicest look, aside from their home jersey. Uh, next up, we're looking at the Dallas Stars with Tyler Sagan on the back. I know a lot of people don't like this shade of green and they wish they'd go to the darker one they used to use. I love it. I think it's their best their best look. I think uh, if they would if they would use this green and throw the star on the bottom, they'd, they'd be printing money, at least to me. Um, great, great jersey overall. Again, straight from Adidas, so it was relatively cheap. I think it was like a hundred bucks. Uh, sometimes they have like wicked sales going on directly from their website. Again, another one directly from Adidas, the Anaheim Ducks, uh, former captain Ryan Getzlaff. Uh, it's great. I don't know. Um, I wish they would go back to like a, a, a version of the Anaheim or the Mighty Ducks look, but I think with if they base it off the reverse retro and just make a black version of that one, uh, it'd be perfect. But I, I really, I'm one of the people that really like this look uh, for the Ducks. It's what I've kind of always known though, so that might be why. Uh, the last two. Uh, the LA King Stadium Series jersey, uh, nothing much to say about this, it's blank, uh, I bought it on a whim because it's a really nice just kind of fashion jersey, <laughs> if to say anything, uh, but yeah, I really like this one. Uh, I wish they would actually bring it back as, like a, as an alternate and wear it all the time. Uh, and then last up is the infamous Buffa Slug, um, I love this jersey a lot, uh, not many people do. But uh, it's a it's a great look. Um, it's a good shoulder patch, actually. If you notice, anytime I do a redesign uh, for the Buffalo Sabers, I always put the Buffalo Slug as the uh, the shoulder patch. Um, I I just love it. Um, so that is my jersey collection. I am currently working through multiple redesign sets. Um, slowly but surely, I'm doing a fully redesign of home, away, alternate, and reverse retro. And then I also have a secondary series, which will probably come out first, which is I'm taking uh, colors or logo inspiration from other sports teams in the major cities of NHL teams and doing it. So in the case of Montreal, I'm using the Expos as inspiration. Uh, in Ottawa, I'm doing a Red Blacks and Fury connection. Um, for Vancouver, I'm going to do the Grizzlies, which I know are in Memphis now, but it's I'm kind of having fun with it. So yeah, it's just a cute, uh, fun little series I'm having, and it's uh, it's gonna be a lot of cool. It's gonna be really cool. Um, for that, I'm thinking I'll just release the videos, or uh, as one video, one uh, all 32 teams in the city edition, or how, whatever I'm gonna end up calling it. Uh, and then for the full league redesign, I'll uh, that I'm working on, home, like I said, home away, alternate reverse retro will be uh, I think one or two teams per video so like 16 videos max maybe one or two a week as well um, so that'd be like eight weeks t uh, timeline uh, I, again I haven't really thought too much about it I'm still making most of those jerseys so I haven't really like remotely thought about release schedule just yet um, I will be working on it I promise you just very soon uh, thank you for watching um, something I'd be really interested uh, in is leave a comment um, if you have your own jersey collection um, and let me know what you have, uh, or at least let me know your top three that you have. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you uh, if you want more jersey talk and design content. Uh, I absolutely love making it. Um, it's been a while since I have. I've just been uh, locked up with work, um, and I just really haven't had the motivation to do it. But I, I've recently gotten that back, and I really want to get more and more filmed. Uh, so thank you for watching, uh, and until next time. Have a great day.